overcoming sexual temptations, overcoming your sexual desires, your sexual urges, the lust and stuff. Um, everybody, I feel like a lot of people, majority of the world is dealing with this. Um, it's a lot of people who giving in to their urges, their temptations, they um their desires want to go sleep around and stuff and many of them is doing it many of them is giving to the urges and they're going out and just and just you know sleeping with whoever sinning fornicating some people even commit adultery some people their husband or their wife is not pleasing them in the bedroom so what they do they go out to the club or hang with the homeboys hang with the homegirls and that dude may see a girl that he find attractive, body on on point, and then guess what? He got he getting the digits, and now he got a side piece. She home girl. She the a wife might go out with her home girls, and she see the uh she see some dude that's that's from from head to toe her type. Um, you know, get the digits. Now she got her side a side dude. I about to say another word, but let's keep it, you know. She about, she got her side dude now. Now she about to have her hot girl summer. She about to, uh, about to live it up. He about to live it up. He about to, now, they're in adultery. Giving in to the sexual desires. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Spiritual J, man. Coming back at you again with another video. Um, about to just keep it real. Coming from the heart. Um... Don't care about your comments, about your uh, about your feelings, about your you put your emotions away, and mother just speak some truth. So, a lot of people deal with pornography addiction, porn addiction. If it's not porn addiction, it's fornication. A lot of people can't stop fornicating because they gotta have somebody laying next to them. They gotta have somebody. They gotta, you know, they gotta have sex every day. That's their goal. You got reality TV shows promoting fornication. You might see uh, shows where you got people going out to the club every day. They, uh, they're sleeping around. I don't know if y'all familiar with uh, Jersey Shore. That show came out back in 2009. It's a, it's a very popular show that was on MTV and stuff. And, you know, you got uh, those type of people on there. They used to go to the club every day. And the guys will come home with a different girl every day, or the dudes will, um, or, or the girls will come. The guys will come home with a different girl, and the dudes will come home. The girls will come home with different dudes. I don't know if I was saying that right, but uh, and you know you got you got a lot of fornication going on. It's a lot of fornication going on. Babies being born out of wedlock. Cheating going on, you know, marriages getting broken up because they allowing other people to come inside their marriage because they burning in their lust. See, that's why I say it's always important in, for a marriage. It's important to please your partner because if you're not pleasing your partner in the bedroom, then half of the time, well, majority of the time, there's gonna be a lot of adultery going on. It's going to be a lot of people who who's going to, you know, get they going to risk their marriage because they're burning their lust. It's a lot of people who's suffering with pornography right now. Pornography is something that's major going on right now. But see, a lot of people are not going to admit that they got a porn addiction. I can admit I had a porn addiction. I had a bad porn addiction. To the point where I thought I was going to have to go get some help or something. But not knowing that the help is only the, it's the Holy Spirit. That's the help. My opinion, you can't go talk to somebody to help you get over a porn addiction. How are you going to talk to somebody to help you get over a porn addiction? The way to get over a porn addiction is, you know, you got to hear somebody else's testimony. Somebody else who, who battle with that can give you tips on how to, how to get over it. And the Holy Spirit. Can fight off those desires Because God put horniness inside of us He put sexual desire Inside of us For our marriage For a covenant 
not for fornication. Go out there and go have sex with anybody that you see who you find attractive. The Bible says flee fornication. The lust of the flesh, man, the, the flesh will get you in some trouble. This flesh, this body, man, will get you in some trouble. How many people battling that, that uh, porn? You know, they're not going to, people are not going to admit it. You even got church people who want to admit that they, they fight with porn or fornication or adultery or, or something. You know, I still get the temptations for, to uh, look at some porn. I still get the temptation still to this day. It's going to be here. You know, but you can fight that off. You can fight off that, that porn. You don't have to watch that porn every day. You know, and it's, it's bad when you when you single too. Because in the single life, those sexual those sexual desires, man, they're going to come and they're going to come and they're going to come, man. And they're going to come hard. They're going to come. They, those desires are going to be here. I'm telling you. And it's going to be hard for you to fight that off. But with the Holy Spirit, it's not going to be hard. Ain't nothing hard for, for God. And you know you got uh this porn people don't know how bad how dangerous this porn is. Porn is very dangerous, y'all. It's very dangerous. Because you invite these demonic spirits into your life when you fornicating, you know, committing adultery, and when you watching this pornography. You are inviting these demons in. People don't think that having sex is, is bad. Sex is, is not because God created sex to be good for marriage. But what you got people out here doing? People out here is fornicating. They're fornicating. They're not trying to hear about fornication because they they trying to satisfy the flesh. You know, this flesh, man, I'm telling you, it would get you in some trouble. It will. It would get you in some trouble. But you can overcome it. You know, let me just give you some tips on how to overcome pornography. First thing first is, you know, when you when you get in that feeling of, of watching it, put it in your mind. Because it's like this. If you start to watch that stuff, right, it's only a temporary, it's only a, a temporary feeling. It ain't, it ain't like, it's not permanent. It's only a temporary feeling. You ain't gonna feel that feeling forever, you know. And it's only you only get those desires. It's like, it's like you only get the the um desire to watch porn at nighttime when you about to go to sleep, or because the idle mind is the devil's workshop. See, people get that that scripture mixed up. People get that one mixed up. An idle mind is the devil's workshop. See. What they're not understanding, see, somebody got it all wrong with that scripture. They said, what that, that mean is, if you sitting still and you're not doing anything, you're not active, you're not doing nothing, and you just idle, the devil is going to throw stuff in your mind. He's going to throw stuff and throw stuff and throw stuff in your mind to get you to think that, and you're going to be tricked to think that it's God telling you that stuff, but it's not. The devil is going to tell you to, oh, you you horny? Oh, go go watch some watch some porn. You know, go watch some some porn. Go watch some even dudes who got girlfriends. It's it's dudes right now who got girlfriends, but they're not getting none. Don't you know that you? Well, that's because even if you dating somebody, you still fornicating because y'all not married. Y'all don't have a covenant. You're dating. I see people that's dating for two, three, four, five years. No covenant at all. They don't have no covenant. All they got is just, just they just fornicating. They just dating for that long, without without getting to no no marriage. So they go that long and 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 just just be having sex and, and having kids. You know, and that's what I'm saying. It's a lot of people, man. It's a lot of people who battling this porn. This porn ain't no joke. It's people who even watch porn and they still 
why they got somebody and they still watching porn. You know, it's a lot of people who, who just not getting satisfied in the bedroom. And this porn, man, it's going to, you invite those demons in when you're watching it. You invite these demons in. These demons, they, they come into your life when you're watching porn, man. I'm telling you, because as soon as you watch porn, those spirits come out, those spirits come, the minor spirits. And guess what? Guess what's about to happen? You about to get you about to get even more horny because you allow those spirits to come come into your life and they about to come into your body. So now what, man? They about to you about to be so horny now to the point where they going. Now it's their objective. It's it's their job now to get you to masturbate. It's their job now to get you to masturbate because that's all porn is. Porn is just for you to watch it watch it and for you to, to to masturbate you know that's basically what porn is for or people who who's in cup who's in these couples they they watch porn to get to get aroused to get you know to get in the mood you know to get it in you got some you got people out here who got ed erectile dysfunction they can't get it up these it's some dudes out here who can't get it up because they've been watching porn for so long and they've been masturbating for so long. Now they need to go, go get a rhino pill or the red pill, whatever they that red pill is. They need to get a rhino pill or something to to get them to uh to get up, to get a um erected. This is what's going on. You got older guys out here who who've been masturbating all their lives. Now that they they trying to chase some they out here trying to chase some young girl to to satisfy their flesh, knowing that they can't get it up. And so what they do, go and get a pill that's gonna mess up their heart. This is what's going on. This is this is what's going on. Pornography. That's why it's free. Porn is free for a reason. It's free for a reason because you got people. They know they know that people going going watch it, you know. It's and that's that's the devil's plan. The devil wants people to watch it because he wants you to masturbate because people don't understand how important their semen is. Your semen is so important, but people don't understand it. But people is letting that semen out. They letting that semen out. Now they now they all about to bust a nut because they masturbated from watching a, uh, some uh, cheeks on the screen. And now what? They're about to fall asleep. Wake back up. Those spirits is there now. Those, those demonic spirits. They're about to get you to do it right, right, um, right all over again. That's what happens. That's what happens with this pornography. This pornography is dangerous. It's very, very dangerous. And a lot of dudes be wondering why they fighting with it. And fighting with it because when you watch pornography, when you watch that stuff, whatever video that you like and that you masturbated to before, that's gonna that video gonna stay in your mind. So when you get horny, that video gonna come back to your mind. Even as simple as even as small as you you going looking at um looking at some just some type of like some type of picture on Google. Let's say it like that. Some type of picture on Google. Let's say it like that. And you 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 look at this this picture or something that's that gets you excited, that gets you horny. So when you get horny, you going you going to picture that, you going to think about that picture that you seen and you going to go masturbate to the picture. You can go back on your phone and find a picture and you going to masturbate to it. Or you going, you know, you going to you can go back to that, that porn video. This is what's going on, y'all. This is what's going on. There is people who is who is really suffering with this. This is a, a big thing that's going on with people in their life. But they're not gonna admit it. But I'm here to, to let you know, you know, if you're wondering why you keep fighting with this porn, why you keep going back to it and stuff, because when you watch that stuff one time, those spirits come into your life. 
and then those videos stay in your mind. So now they got you. Now they got you. But you can fight it all with the Holy Spirit. The Bible says deny yourself. You gotta deny this flesh, man. This flesh, listen, this flesh wants to do a lot. This flesh wants to do a lot, y'all. I'm telling you. It wants to do a lot. This flesh wants to wants to go back to your old lifestyle. Wants to go out there and have sex with anything that you see. Want to go get drunk again. Want to go get high. Want to go to that party. Want to go to that club and stuff. I'm, and, and I'm talking to all the set apart people. The ones who've been in the race. But if you new in the faith and you just now, you know, find out about my channel or anybody else's channel and you come across this video, stay in the race. Leave that, that wicked lifestyle alone. Repent and leave it alone. Ask God, confess all your sins to God and, and ask for his forgiveness. Because y'all don't understand how dangerous pornography is. Pornography is dangerous, y'all. Fornication is dangerous. And there's a lot of there's there's dudes out here who who is so proud of themselves, who's so happy that they got at least twelve girls hitting their phone at one time. It ain't nothing cool about that. There ain't nothing cool about that at all. You know? You got you got girls out here who who so who think it's so cute that they got all these dudes hitting their phone. They want so many dudes hitting their phone. Ain't nothing cute about that. Fellas, ain't nothing cute about you you having sex with that girl and then that girl go have sex with your homeboy and then all that. So, you know, ain't nothing, ain't nothing cool or, or cute about that stuff. But that's what's going on in this world right now. That's that's what's going on. If you just look around, it's, it's, it's what's going on. You go inside of a, a club and you you see it everywhere. Bible speaks clearly on, on clubs. On it's called reveling. It's called reveling. Going to a club, going to a club that that's going to end at one or two or three o'clock in the morning, where it's going to be alcohol at, and then afterwards it's going to be sexual activity. Reveling. I gotta flee fornication, flee from all this stuff, man. Fight this stuff, y'all. Y'all gotta fight, man, for real, because you don't wanna die in your sin. That's one thing that you don't wanna do is die in your sin. Fight off this porn, this this porn hub and stuff, man. Yeah, I know about. Oh, I man, I'm telling you, I used to be a porn addict. Porn hub, Reddit too, um, X hamster, X videos. Uh, what is it? What else is it? All that stuff. Y'all know it. People got their favorite porn stars that they be watching. Uh, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of, uh, I got, I, I, I had a couple favorite porn stars that I was watching. And them women used to always get me. Every time I seen the page of it, I ain't even had to masturbate. I, I just started, I just started nothing on myself. <laughs> that's how bad, it, that's how bad it was. You know? But y'all can fight this stuff, man. It's just if you want to. If you want to. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy at all. Trust me, y'all. It's not easy. This is something that I battle with. They battle with. A lot of people battling with this, y'all. And behind closed doors, they battling with this. But out in the, but out in the, uh, in the open, in the public... Oh, they just so holier than, than thou. They ain't got nothing wrong with them. Ain't nothing going on with them. I can't stand people like that. You know? It's people like that that just... That just get on my nerves. But, um... And then once again, in, in, like another way is... If you're trying to fight off this... This sexual desires and stuff... Let me tell you something. 
anything that you have in your phone that's going to remind you of of going to look at porn anything that you got in, in your phone like in your pictures or in your browser saved or something go delete all that if you even if you gotta delete social media instagram facebook twitter snapchat because there's a lot of sexual stuff going on nowadays y'all i tell you i get notifications from millions of people from I ain't gonna say millions from thousands of people. It's thousands of people, y'all, that I'm getting notifications from. Where they they it's to the point where I think that it's like a like a supporter or something, but I add them back and they end up sending me news. It's women on there that's that be sending me news. And it's so bad, and well, I'm about to close the video, I'm about to uh, end the video, I don't make it too too much longer but i'm just spitting facts in this because you ain't gonna hear too much about pornography it's to the point now where you got people that's going after the same sex the same gender they're going after the same gender bible speaks clearly on this man first corinthians and in, in the book of matthew and romans about homosexuality about drunkenness about fornication if it, Galatians, the book of Galatians, man, it's talking about all this, man. And all those books, it, it talks about what will not inherit the kingdom, what will not inherit heaven. Once again, homosexuality will not inherit the kingdom. I'm talking to all y'all who think it's so cute about what you're doing. You girls think it's so cute that you mess with another girl, and you and you and you think it's cute. Why they, they think it's cute? Because they got dudes out here who's who's promoting it. Dudes out here messing with other dudes on the down low. And then out in the open, they want to act gangster, want to act tough, want to act hard. But they but they gay behind closed doors. Yeah, that's going on a lot too. It's a lot of gay dudes that's that's on the down low. But don't let the Most High pull your pull the cover off of you and expose you. Don't let the Most High expose you, because if He expose you, or He gonna put you out there, have all your homeboys laughing at you. Yeah, that's what's going on. That's how bad it's getting. That's how bad it's getting out here, y'all. I can feel it, and I can see it. I can see the 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 sexual activity is getting worse in this world. The sexual activity is getting worse, y'all. Like, for real. It's getting bad out here. But people people not fighting. People giving into it. That's why now, don't be surprised when you be having 12-year-olds and 13, 14-year-olds pregnant. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. Oh yeah, I ain't gonna make this video too much longer. I had to uh, get it off my chest. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.